Good morning everyone, it's May here with Crafting on a Budget and before we even get started I want to thank all of you guys that have recently subscribed to my channel and to all those that has subscribed to my channel and has been following me for years. We finally made it to 2,000 subscribers. I am so excited. I cannot wait to keep sharing some amazing videos with you guys. This is going to be awesome. I just, I'm so thankful. Anyway, um, I also want to remind you if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so. Click on the notification bell. It notifies you whenever I go live or whenever I upload a video like this. Now, the other night, I had shared uh, my file folder pocket that I created. But, you know, how it is when we're doing it live, it's kind of chaotic. Sometimes I'm trying to not only focus on the measurements and also the shot. You know, because I hate to leave people behind. Who wants to be left behind, right? You know, I always want to say hi and, you know, welcome those that are coming into my channel. So um, I want to recap, kind of give you better measurements and make sure if you have any questions, make sure you comment below. Let me know, hey, May, I didn't understand that. Or, you know, if you have already made that from the previous videos that we did, part one, part two, um, hey, send me some pictures. Let me see what you made. I would love to see it. So this is the Stamperia Spring Botanic. And um, I ended up using actually all of it with the exception of these two pieces. So it's kind of tight right there, tight squeeze on me. I ended up having to cut um, three of the um, tags and ephemeras because it was kind of a tight squeeze on me. So, um, so what are you going to need for this? So here's the second one I, I made. And of course you guys saw me doing it live where we did this one. And um, that's my little prototype, as like I like to call it. So you're going to need four center tabs for these, okay? And you're going to need two right tabs, okay? You're also going to need your paper trimmer. Now, I suggest that you use the same paper trimmer throughout. It's like, you know, um, a seamstress. They don't like to change their uh, measuring Um tape because every measuring tape is going to give them a different um, measurement. So from beginning to end, use the same um, trim mark. It seems kind of crazy, but it's just, trust me, it makes sense because I ended up having to switch between um, one paper trimmer to the other because I started out with one and then I ended up with the other and, you know, it was kind of the measurements were off different. Now, um, you're also going to need, of course, um, some type of a piercing tool. I did use a three-quarter inch for the little um, um, tabs here, a three-quarter inch punch. I also use a one-and-a-half inch circle punch. And um, for my little cutouts on the tabs, I use my Distress Ink, of course. I'm using vintage photos. You can use whatever you want. As far as liquid glue, I like the Barely Art Liquid Glue. Um, I like it a lot better than any other glue in the market as far as liquid glue, aside from Fabri-Tac. Um, Fabri-Tac Fabri is my other preference. Um, but for this one, we're using Barely. You're going to use some score tape, um, some twine, some brads, um, some type of a scoring device. Um, I use this one for my uh, scoreboard, and I use this one to burnish. Your ruler, always double check to make sure everything's accurate. Your um, scoreboard, and I think um, if you have any clips or anything like that to help you know, stabilize your pages, you can use that as well. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is um, start with your right tab. That's going to be the first one that you're going to be um, cutting. So let's cut the first right tab. And I'm using a Crafter's Companion. I found that I like this one because it's a guillotine. Um, and I just picked this up. Someone was selling it for six bucks, so I got a good deal on that. So with your um, tab opened up, 
facing you and keep in mind keep an eye on my ring finger that is actually my left hand so I might tell you flush to the right flush to the left but keep this is my left okay because I know that the camera is a little bit upside down all right so we're gonna trim this at seven and three quarters that is the actual measurement of your file folder pocketbook okay so this is there seven and three quarters set that piece aside because you're going to use that for your little flaps and all the other um, pockets and things inside now grab your other right tab one now this one you're not going to use it until you start putting in your pockets and your flaps and all the other you know doohickeys that we put into this so in this you have your original score lines and all the you know the fold line and all the other score line we're going to cut this at the fold line okay. so go ahead and just cut it right there in that fold line and, and then set that aside we're not touching it yet okay grab your four all four of your center tabs now you're going to start with putting your tab down facing you and start cutting it on each side at nine and three quarters nine and three quarters on each side again say this because that's going to be a belly band in some of some of your pages now remove it from your um, trimmer flip it flip it and go and trim it at seven and three quarters every single one the four center tab this is exactly what you're going to do now there's four parts to building that so again all of these little pieces i've already pre-cut my other center ones this is going to be belly bands this is going to be um and put it together with this one this is going to be pockets this is going to be flaps or you know doohickeys all those little wonderful doohickeys that we use all right set that aside because we're not going to need that right now now um i'm going to go ahead and put this one down and i want you to now to grab your scoreboard so now we have four one two three four center tabs and one right tab okay that's going to be your entire piece okay so here's the one of the center tabs and the other right and the other centers are your album or your you know your album I guess you want to call it um whatever you want to call it you know tomato tomato I'm going to get some of my coffee refuel so then the first one you're going to grab like I was saying this is um built in four parts so the album itself is four parts and then one of these center tabs is the cover so let's go ahead and make the cover the first thing to get that out because it's actually the easiest one that we're going to create all right so we're going to grab our scoreboard and we're going to put the tab again it's on my right i mean on my left sorry 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 Okay, so put that tab on my left and grab your scoring tool. I like to use this stylus. I'm going to uh, measure or score at three and a half. And then I'm going to go in at three and a quarter, four, four and a quarter, and at five. Okay now flip it over with the opening part this is the little part that doesn't have a tab and again on your left flush it against if you have if you're right-handed I understand that you know some people that are left-handed um, may not understand you know not understand but their board is it's kind of hard you know they don't make these boards for um, 
left-handed people. So what you're going to do again, just flip it over. It's going to be at three and a half. Okay. Now you see this little here thing. This is actually the spine, but we need to make sure. Um, grab your bone folder, and this is like a little pocket thingy doohickey. Just go ahead and burnish that. You know, flush it. It's if you look at the notes in the group in my creating um, crafting on a budget group on Facebook, it. I say um, fold and flush. Well, this is fold, fold and flush. And put it against your board. Now, you have um, these original score lines from your file folder. Just double check. This here should be your, this is, this is your spine. And I guess I should try to zoom in. Let's zoom in. There we go. So, um, so this is the original score line, you know, but our spine needs to be about an inch wide. Now, if you plan to make, um, put more ephemeras in there, you need to take that into account. So that means that you'll probably be changing some, alterating some of the measurements, but my measurements is exactly an inch spine. So you, this is coming in on mine once I folded that over. Mine is at four and a half, um, and there's just separated or scored at quarter inch. So this four and a half, four and three quarters, five, five and a quarter, and then the last one that we are gonna make it's at five and a half. Okay, make sure you keep that um, in mind um, because you're gonna have to score that on your designer paper when you get ready to add your designer paper. Um, so again, the original scores was, um, four and a half, four and three quarters, five, five and a quarter and five. Okay. And might go, sorry, four and a half, four and three quarters, five, five and a quarter. And five and a half okay okay so that is our spine and that's where our little album pocket thingy is going to sit right smack in there in that thing so that's how you have to score your designer paper um, I'm going to change the designer paper the way I did it online you know we got caught up with the stuff and you know you start to think of when you once you start da sitting down and putting all your pages in you're like oh I could have done that differently well we're gonna do it differently so let me get some coffee refresh refuel okay so then what you're going to do is you're going to then um, you don't want to you just kind of want to work it you know, just work it because that that needs to be a little bit worked up so that it folds over. And then same thing over here. Um, you want to kind of work it into shape like that. Okay, so that'll go like that. That is your that is your you know your little cover. Set that aside. We're not going to use that now. Now bring over your right tab, your one right tab. Now here we go. This is where it starts. It all starts. Okay, so part one. This is part one. And you can write somewhere in here, this is part one, okay? Um, part one. Take your right tab on your left-hand side of your uh, right-handed you're going to place it and flush it against your scoreboard, okay? And you're going to score at four and three quarters. Remember I said the length of the um, album or pocket thingy is seven and three quarters. The width is four and three quarters, so keep that in mind throughout. Okay, so four and three quarters we're scoring. 
And here is where I says fold over and flush. So we're going to fold over. And you're going to grab your bone folder and burnish. And then you're going to flush against your scoreboard. And then you're going to then score at four and three quarters. If you scored it the right way, it's going to be right smack on the um, four and three quarters. Okay, so then fold it over again and burnish everything. Okay. And flush, okay? Trying to put that so it's not making that loud banging noise. So see what I mean? If you if you fold and flush everything and score everything the right way, let me lighten up this. The lighting here is a little bit too bright for you guys. Okay, I think that should be okay. Um, it always lands and falls on your four and a three four and three quarter inch mark. So again, score at four and three quarters and this is going to be our first first gusset um, that's going to sit on our spine so go ahead and score again at five inches okay so we scored it at four and three quarters and now I'm going to score it at five inch because that is my gusset now you see this little tab, it's very important, and then you have, if you see on the notes in the group, um, I'm talking about a little notch. This is the notch I'm talking about. Do not trim that off because that's a little guide that we need to keep in mind when we are about to um, put in. So what I'm talking about is from this score line where I scored at five, over here it's four, and, uh, sorry, from this score line to this edge here it's uh, three and a quarter but our pages are four and three quarters so we have to attach another little piece so how we're going to do that the way we're going to do that is we are trimming this off it could be you know you don't have to but I am so just trim that off and I'm actually going to use my score um, my cutting board because I'm not good at cutting straight <laughs> pretty bad at that so I'm just going to go ahead and bring that over and let's cut it mm. pretty bad at cutting straight I know it's pretty bad um, I am pretty bad at that okay so just take that and put it aside all right, so there's that. Oh, I need this again. Now, grab one of those little extra pieces that you had for that's about two inches in width, and make sure it's two inches. Um, grab one that's about two inches in width, and go ahead and trim that. I'm gonna snip it right here just to make it easier. Trim this piece off at um, seven and three quarters. Right there. Okay. It's going to be like a back and forth on this video with switching um, the scoreboard and the paper trimmer but we got to do it that way. Okay, so see what I mean about um, here, you're going to take some score tape. Now, what I recommend because of, you know, the moving, the shuffling and all that, it's, that starts like I have to redo this here. I haven't put it down because we're going to put it down together. So I'm going to have to re-glue that down. So I suggest just as long as you know and you can mark it, on the opposite side you know your score tape goes here um, because that's going to go down and maybe make a little note on there somewhere you know that here um, because oh, I did it on the silly May trick is for tricks is for kids May come on down see what I mean 
probably screwing up, but y'all know me. Okay, so on, a, on the back side, on the back side, we are going to put score tape. If I see, I should have known because I spelled it wrong the first time anyway. Um, on the back side, we'll put score tape so that we know that's where our score tape goes. I'm not putting it down now because it starts to come all, you know, chaotic and undone. So if you put, we know that this here mark right here, that's five inches, right? That's my five, well, sorry. If I flush it against here, this is where I scored, it was five inches. So um, from here to here, it's one inch, two inch, and then uh, three and a quarter inch. This here I know was two inches. So what we're gonna do, <clears throat> and double check, always double check because sometimes, you know, the cutting, that's two inches, see? So if we know that this is um, three and a quarter from this little mark here to the edge here, it's three and a quarter. Our pages is four and a quarter, four and three quarters. We need to extend. We need to bring out um, something to remind us that our page is three and a quarter. I mean, four and three quarters. Gosh, me. Can I get it right? <laughs> you guys are probably saying, you still can't get it right, chica. All right. So our page is four and three quarters. We need to make a little extender. And I that's why I have this little notch because it's a good indicator where I need to align this and um, bring it over. So if I was to bring it over and let me get my little, um, I'm going to mark it on my board to make it easy, easy, easy peasy. So watch. So if that's, if I put that on, um, if I line this up to the five inch, that should go right into nine and three quarters, right? So my paper, this little end needs to go up to nine and three quarters. So I'm going to go and mark on my scoreboard nine and three quarters so that I can, you know, align my paper. All right. So then we're going to take, um, you can take score tape or wet glue, whatever you want. I'm just going to use wet glue. I'm going to put some down here, a bead of glue, and um, do it that way for now. And notch as my little indicator, and I'm going to put it right smack on there so that I can line it up perfectly and flush it all in. See that? there so now if I was to measure from that five inch score line that last one we did down to the end it should be four and three quarters exactly okay all right perfecto perfecto okay so then go ahead and fold that back and burnish that because remember we have a score line there um, And let's go ahead. Here's my little score line from where my score tape's gonna go. In the back, of course, in the back. And then there, that's a gusset for the first score line. So that's part one. So see, that's the gusset for the first score line, and then if you put it together like that, there's the gusset. There's my fold gusset. And see, it's all nice and flush. You want to make sure it's all nice and flush. That's part one. Put that aside. Grab a center one. Okay. And grab some coffee because we need to fuel. I don't know why my voice is out, guys. Mm. Coffee is so good. Okay. So the next thing you're going to do, this is part two. Go ahead and mark it. Part two so that you're not, you know, I'm cuckoos for Cocoa Pops. Um, and I'm hoping, I'm hoping, hoping, I'm hoping you're not, con you know, I'm not making you contagious. Oh, the other thing, I just saw my notes. You're going to need some magnets. I just grabbed these from um, Amazon. I'll make sure I, I um, 
link it below. Um, but you can use anything if you want. Um, I just used those that I had from um, purchased from Amazon. All right, so part two, center, tab, and we've already cut it. It's already nice and cut. The length is seven and three quarters. We're going to open up our file folder with the tab on my left-hand side. I'm going to score it at two inches. Two inches, and then again, we're gonna go at four and a half inch. Oops. Two inches and at four and a half inch. Okay. And then uh, we're going to make, make like a little accordion fold, fold it over and burnish. Okay. And then take this little score line and fold it that way and burnish. Okay. And then we're going to fold that back. Okay. And then I want you to go in and score at four and three quarters. Okay. And then you're going to again fold that. And remember you're 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 competing with the original folds and score lines. So just make sure you do you fold it over on the four and three quarter mark that you folded, okay? Because you don't want to mess with the original scores just on the four and three quarters that you did. So you folded it over. So you scored, fold, score, fold back, flush it against the scoreboard and score at four and three quarters and burnish right on that four and three quarter one, okay? Now with it like um, the way it's folded right now, flush it, fold and flush, and again, score at four and three quarters. The fold falls right onto my four and three quarters. It's just so convenient. Now, I'm not going to use this piece right yet. But we're going to use this little piece here. Um, you can take your scissors. You could, you know, take your scissors and trim it right on that score. I'm just going to go ahead and use my scissors and right on that little score. I'm going to trim it because I'm going to use this, set it aside. We're going to use it for a pocket. So just set this aside um, because we're not going to use it right at this second. So you're left with this. So this is part two. Okay. Okay. All right. Pet, set that aside for now. Grab another center. This is part three. And then again, you're going to um, score at four and three quarters. Let's see. Yeah. So you're going to score at, with the open slot to your left, score at four and three quarters. Okay. Fold over. Finding, finding, finding Nemo. Finding my score, my score thingy, scoring tool. And then flush over, fold and flush, and score again at four and three quarters. It falls right smack on the four and three quarter mark. Okay. <clears throat> so then um, again, fold and flush. Fold, burnish, whatever. All right. Um, my little notes and so then you're going to fold over and flush against and then you're going to score it at right there you're going to do because this is the second gazette
and we'll go at four and three quarters and at five because this is our second little gusset that we're creating. Okay. So on the back, I want you to write on that thing score tape, but not right yet because otherwise it's just going to get beat up with all the stuff that we're doing. Okay. On that first score line, I want you to burnish it and do the same thing on the second where the score tape is going to go. And then you create a little gusset that looks like that and your pocket looks like that. Okay, so just make sure it's all nice and, you know, not oopsies, no oopsies, okay. All right, now grab your fourth one. So that's part three. And I'm going to go ahead and write part three. Grab that one, set it aside. Grab your part, your 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 fourth one. And so now, and let me right here. Okay, I had to write that down. Okay. Now on part four, you're going to cut the tab out. So let's get our board. Is it this one that we're cutting? I don't know. We're not cutting, we're not cutting this, this tab because we're going to use that tab. We're actually um, using that tab right there. Oh yeah, we are we are cutting that tab. So we are we're cutting this tab out. Yes, 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 we are. We're cutting that tab. That's why there's notes. Follow the notes, May. Follow the notes, woman. This is not your first time making it now. <laughs> oh lord. Mm. Monday, you're gonna hear my trash man going in and out. So you're gonna hear some noise, some weird noise outside. The weird people. No, I'm just kidding. I love it when they pick up my trash because I'm always throwing trash. I keep them busy. Okay, so we got that. So then we're going to turn it this way, and you're going to um, score at a four and three quarters. This is part four. Remember I said there's four parts. So much work. So much work, right? Okay. And then fold and flush. Fold and flush if you're following the ones in the group. And then score again. Miraculously, look, it fell right on the four and three quarters at four and three quarters. Sound like a broken record. Do you ever feel like you're, you're a broken record? Yeah, I feel like that right now, right? All right, and fold and flush. And flush. And sorry for the wobbly. Okay, so then again, score it four and three quarters. Fold and flush. Mm. Ah, I have to find your phone. That one's going to fold back like that. Okay, that's part four, cuatro. Now, I need you to grab, no more scoreboards for now. Grab your parts and grab your glues and all the other stuff that you want to use to glue down. Um... You're going to now put these parts, assemble the parts together. So here's part one. It's the long little, this is like the centipede thing. Let me zoom out now. There we go. All right. So it's like the little magical centipede thing, you know. All right, so here's part one. Tab, this is the only one with the right tab, okay. 
So grab your part two, which is the one that's the shortest one of all of them because they're all the same length with the exception of this one. This one was trimmed off um, early and this one has the attachment. So you see this little fold? Okay, this is what you're going to decide to do. Um, if you can look at mine here, um, I decided I like the pull out. I like to be able to pull out. I think that's pretty neat. So if you want to do a pull out, what I recommend that you do at this point is to grab your magnet and place your magnets down, um, starting here and then placing it down, okay? So grab your magnet and place your magnet down at that point, right? And then you see the little score line. You're going to flush this part one up to that fold line. And you're going to um, actually put some glue on here. But you're going to do it in a U shape because we're going to create a pocket. Let me move all these parts out. You're going to create a pocket. So this is going to be our pocket. So go ahead. This is part one I'm working on. Part one. I'm going to put a U You want to use wet glue on this. You don't want to use score tape um, because the score tape, once you start putting things in, and I don't even do things in a straight line. Look at that. I can't do this in a straight line to save my life. Because if you put score tape as you're putting things in, like tags or whatever, it's going to snag, and you don't want that. Okay. So now you're going to flip this over, and here's part two. And you're going to join those two pieces. I think it would be easier if you just go like this. Bada beam, bada boom, right? Like that. Pull that back. I'm doing this so that you can get really good connection there. You know, you know what I mean? Grab your little... And then you guys can just start. It's this is so easy. Once you get this all assembled, apart all four parts and your cover, and this is so easy. It goes really easy peasy. So then you're left with this. So here, um, we're gonna put a magnet. I'm gonna go ahead and put a magnet just because you know we can we can we can make another one. Not really. <laughs> I'll probably just have it here. So whenever I do want to make a you know decorate another one or whatever, but I'm decorated out. All right. So we'll just put a little, um, I don't know about you guys, you know, after I've done one, two, I could probably do two. I'm not one that likes to like make repetitive things. I just can't. I just can't, guys. I just can't. All right. So then we're going to put another bit, um, probably cut too much <clears throat> score tape. All those scissors, they want to stick to my um, magnets. All right, so then there. I just kind of like that being able to pull it, you know. I thought that was pretty neat. I like that. I like that. So that's part one, part two put together. Bada bing, bada boom, fold over, and wow, we got that part one and part two put together. Grab part three. This is the other one that has the other gusset and the other score line or score tape. Now we're going to take this little piece here um, that we cut out. Let's see. And these two are going to create another pocket. Um, but we're going to glue. You can do one or two things. You can do a U. So this is part two. This is part two. Um, um, part three. You're gonna do a U, U little, call it a U, a U, yeah, a U. You're gonna do a little U. Guys, this is so bad. I can't look at that. My 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 line. I'm so. I don't have a straight, steady hand. I don't know if you guys do, but look at that. I try. I try. There we go. Can't. But all right. So take part three. And you're going to flush it to the top of part two. And 
if you need paper clips or little clips to help you keep those together and then take um, that and take your bone folder kind of burnish it so that you can get those two pieces put together and connected make the connection make the connection ladies all right all right there we go so pa got it okay now we have part one part two part three three all together and then it goes up to here oh. One, two. And we have the gusset there's the gusset right there and then we have that like that I do that one wrong. I did. That's three and a quarter. Uh huh. Where am I screwing up? There. Okay. So then you're left, and then you have the two gussets like that, and then you have your little book. But matches like that. Okay. Then you can go and grab your part four. And then this one's going to go flush right in here, like so. And again, don't forget you have that little score line because you have a gusset. Don't glue, don't flush, don't flush it against the four and three quarters. You're going against the five inch mark. Okay. So take that. And you're going to put it against this one like so. So you're going to just glue again on the U. You, you, you light up my life. Here we go. 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 Boom. Ba. Boom. Ba. Ba. Okay. Now take that. I'm terrible. Terrible with. Terrible, terrible lining. Terrible. Okay, maybe lay it down flat, whatever works for you. Whatever works for you, just, you know, get it done, get it done, get it done. That's it, that's it, that's all, that's all to it, you know. All right, burnish, burnish, burnish. Bada beam, bada boom. Okay, yeah, there we go. Burnish. So now you have this little piece here and this like that and then you have um a gusset you have a gusset two gussets that goes like that just two because one looks like it wants to become a gusset because of the original fold line but it's not really a gusset okay um so you have those two tapes like that okay and that's what you're whole thing it looks like a little um centipede you know the expandable centipede it's huge guys this thing is huge look at that Oof. the expandables okay remember two gussets and um two gussets that's all you're gonna have so mark that and then once you have that and you've decorated all your pages make sure you put all your magnets you're left with look how this worked out Mag magically I um, did it okay so remember when we cut out that um, piece here well that's gonna go in the front right here of part one this is the one we cut out it's the part one it gets attached to part one and again you have to do the, the glue and I'm not doing it because you want to make sure you cover, at least cut a two inch strip of decorative paper. Put that down, right? And then put this here. And what I suggest is that you take your decorative paper. I'm gonna take some of this here. You wanna cut out those trace and cut out all your little tabs before you even, you know, because it's just so much easy. Um, so go ahead and trace this um, whatever decorative paper you want cut it out cut out a two inch little border and then take your your piece 
and attach it just like so in the front, just like that, to create a pocket in front of it, okay? So, um, yeah, so that's, that's how that goes, okay? Or it goes this way, like that. All right, so then you're left with a pocket there, and you open up, and then you have here. So I'm going to go and show you. Everywhere there's a tab, again, you want to pull it out, trace it on um, your decorative paper. Um, if you have something like this one, before you glued this piece down, what you would have done, and I should have told you, is to put a decorative piece of paper in there. Um, so before you attach part two and three, note to yourself, attach a two inch strip of decorative paper that you're going to use and then lay down your pocket then lay down part two um, same thing with the part this part here put your little decorative piece in and then glue down okay so that's really important I just wanted to assemble but I'm sure you guys will get the hang of that all right so here's mine so if I open it up here's that front part one and here's a little belly band. And I have all these that I cut out from the collection that I can put in here. I haven't, um, I haven't uh, distressed them or anything like that. But I can put, you know, two here. And then I can open it up and I can put another here. And, you know another piece here and then I open it up and then I can put you know one one in here like that and I have a couple of these I need to distress them and put some little cute stuff on there you know we like to put cute stuff that's how we like to roll we like to make things that are cutesy you know and so this one I can put it in here like that and then over here let's see we got I oh this one I did it pretty different I just took a belly band um, put some magnet um, I have a magnet put in the back here and pretty much that there's a magnet underneath all my decorative so that it's kind of catches it see there's it catches to that and there's a pocket in there. It, this is just for ephemeras that you're going to keep putting in all kinds of ephemeras. So the more pockets you put in. So I could put more in here. I could put some in here. Um, you know, the sky is the limit with these for you guys. Wherever you want to put a pocket, put a pocket. Wherever you want to, you know, just just do whatever you guys want. It's your, it's your little piece. Create it however you guys you know whatever you guys want to do I'm just putting these just temporarily there you can also put them you know in my little doohickey here like you know if I want to there and then over here um, I can put one in here and I had these little long ones that came in there and put some in there um, you know a little botanical book. I can put some in here like that. And then, um, oh, I didn't put a pocket there. I didn't put anything there. I'm going to have to. Now I have to. Oh, shame on me. Okay, I can put that there. I thought, I, I, I thought, you know, I thought. I don't have to I could probably put you know what I might put like a little like a little strip of something for you to write like like that and just kind of keep it for a writing for writing purposes yeah okay so then over here we can put some of this and I put over here we do have a pocket so we have a pocket over here
Let's put a smaller, longer one in here so that I know it's in there. It's for ephemeras, so you know, I'm gonna put that there, that there. I'm just for now. This is I'm just showing you. You know, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. All right. I'm not sure where any. Oh, that one kind of wanted to stick there. Bless his heart. It wanted to stick there backwards. All right. Well, right there. Well, well. You know. Okay. And I don't know. I'm just I'm just playing, you know. I'm just showing you pockets of potential pockets and potential stuff that you can add on here. There we go. And then I made this out of the scraps, the top page, and I just kind of made that there. I don't know. It's not decorated or anything like that. I'm just, you know. Um, Now, and there's a flap on this one. So, and I put a little pocket there so I could put that there. And maybe more here. A little snail. And then over here, more of these little bug. And then in the back over here, we have this one. And we have, we can put all these little doohickeys. Like I said, I have to still decorate. I still have to do some decorating. Now we have to attach. I just wanted to show you um, different alternatives um, for these. Just kind of fold these over in half. And then oh, that one fell. Wanted to fall off. Okay, over here I made in the back. This is the back part, the back pocket. Okay. Um, and I made these two pockets, and we could put these in there. I forgot we had these. I don't know, this ephemera thing, this paper from Stamperia had like massive amount of ephemeras. It's five total I counted. Five, five, yeah. Couldn't believe it either. It's like, wow, they really wanted ephemeras, huh? There's that. There's that. There's that. And. Hey, put that on backwards. Oh, we could put that one back here. Let's see. You know, ephemera, ephemera, ephemera. Da 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 da. -da. Okay. So you get the hints of where all that. What I suggest is you create a little template so that when you're doing the little half moon pocket thingies, that they all kind of be um, similar in width. And that way you don't have one that's bigger than the other. So that's what I highly recommend. Now for this little flap here that I did, that one is, let me see. I actually did it like this. Um, I took one of... Um, the extra sheet that you had um, from the right tab that's using that um, and remember I told you guys to cut it at the score line so what I did is and is 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 yeah um, cut off the tab and I was able to make two out of one um, at the length of it so it's the exact length of this 
right? And the width of it is four and a half, of course, by the original length of the file folder. You're scoring it at a half inch and then at eight and three quarters, or sorry, eight and a quarter. Um, okay, so again, half inch, and then you scored it at eight and three quarters because this here, here is going to be about seven and three quarters the, the length, okay? So that's how I made that. And so now, um, what I did different with, um, as far as, um, yeah, so much stuff in it, what I did different, so it starts to add up, see, it starts to get bulky once you put things in there. Um, I could have put probably more score lines, um, score and gussets in there, but I didn't. What I did different for the, I found that it was easier to cut out a, a bigger sheet of the 12 by 12 at seven and three quarters and then glue it down, cut out my little tabs and cutouts and then take a, another piece, another piece for the flaps and that way I have, you know, a big piece so this is actually one 12 inch piece and then I cut out another piece of the 12 inch and glued it here and then um, I scored it at the um, three and a half that I told you guys to score and then again folded it over and then went into these original score lines that was in the folds from the the um, file folder and we scored it at the four and a half inch four and three quarter inch the five inch the five and a quarter inch and the five and a half inch that gave you that hat that one inch spine and then over here again once I attached my paper I went back in and I kind of did it so that I can at least have that you know mobility to move it and again, I went at the three and a half inch, the three and three quarters, the four, the four and a quarter. And I went actually up to four and a half so that I can have a little bit extra wiggle room, especially for expanding the, the file folder. Now, for these little tabs, I punched out out of craft paper a total of seven of these of the three quarter inch punch. I glued three on top of each other and then I put a little a pierced a hole in the center and I put the brads. I went into the center mark of this here which is which was about three and seven eighths which is the center mark and um, I pierced that. Now you can take your twine and um, you know measure it to length and do that. Now to attach what I did differently from this one here when we were live is I made a little, um, I made a little um, inside spine cover. Didn't need that. I didn't. If you if you do the 12 inch, you're not going to need that. Um, now here, here's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to go ahead and add more score tape because that one's kind of gotten icky and yucky from all the, um, you know, moving around. So. We're going to go ahead and put more score tape down so that it's not icky and yucky anymore. Anymore, anymore, anymore. And you could probably use wet glue. It just takes longer to glue for me, and I don't have that kind of patience, guys. I don't, don't have that kind of patience, nor um, I don't want to sit there and hold that. Like, really, I don't. Uh, Now you know that this here is your where we scored. I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna zoom that in. You see the scores? You could probably see it. There, you can see it there. You know that's my my spine. So what you're gonna do is you're going to make sure if you're attaching that this pocket, we know this is part one. This one here with the back. 
that flaps up open like that, that's part four. So make sure you have, on my case, I have, because I'm right-handed, I have part one on my left hand and part four on my right hand. Okay, so that's important so you're not putting it on backwards because, you know, I thought I did that the other night and I was like, oh, I was so busy. Yakety yak, yakety yak. You know how it is. Y'all know how it is. You know how it is. I yakety yak a lot. Okay, so here, uh, part one on my left, part four on my right. Here's my little score. I'm going to drop, drop it like it's hot right in there. In the first gusset of that force. Bring it in closer to me. Oh, no, I'm notorious for screwing. I'm the screwy, screwy I'm always making. And it always seems like you do it when you're live, you know? It's like people think that you don't know what you're doing, but we do. We just, you know, sometimes we do. Sometimes we do. I mean, I don't know. Sometimes I, I think I'm just a little cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs and a scoop of cuckoo ca -choo. But everyone knows that already of me. So nothing new. Nothing new. All right. If you have a nice little stylus, like a round, bigger one, you could probably use that to kind of get in there and get that. All right. So there. Open it up a little and kind of burnish that in. score tape no we don't want to be lingering around okay so then now you know we have that page there and of course I need to put a pocket or something there and then we have that um, and then we have that one it's kind of a little bit tight squeeze there but I didn't want something that is masked because this is like a little accordion see because I wanted the accordion look on it see it pulls out so this part here part four pulls out it's not glued down um, only part one and part three is glued down to the spine I wanted part uh, four to be able to expand out like that um, so that you can put all your little doohickeys in there so these part here are a little bit tight squeeze um, but um, it's because I did the spine like that. So, and I kind of I kind of like it like that. I didn't want something massively big, you know what I mean. So then that goes in like that. I suggest you put your brads and everything on before. Put those holes. It was so much easier to put the holes in before I put attached, um, you know. And I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm just going to grab this like this and put it underneath, make a knot. One. Two, and I'm sure you guys have a better way of doing this. I'm, this is just my, my, I'm the backwards crafter, so I know, I know, I know. I'm proud of that title. Okay, snip that off and then you kind of put it all together, squeeze it in. You know, I could have probably put that a little bit closer, me, but because I have a lot of stuff in there, so then it goes just wrap around. Could have probably I could have probably put that closer, but I didn't. My bad. Okay. So when I want to go in, I could probably move it in, but I can't right now. Let's see. 
kind of give it some I kind of gave it some wiggle room to expand it a little bit and I think that's why I did it that way so we can expand it uh -huh, because it was already tight there you go Okay, so we got that. This one was going to be once I start putting ephemeras because the the little pieces are just so close in. It's not going to give it enough room to expand um, as we would want it to expand. So um, it's up to you if you want to go closer or more far apart. Um, you know, whatever suits your your boat, or if you just want to make this for a journal to write in. Um, that's fine. And what I did over here is I took, because there's a brad back here, I covered it up with this little belly band so there's more room there and there's a magnet behind a decorative piece. So again, um, that's it. That's all too. I hope, I hope that makes kind of better sense than me doing it, you know, live and all the chaotic mess from the live and, um, you guys understand that. Drop me a note below if you have any questions or any concerns. Um, and the measurements are in the group. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you guys next time. Stay well. God bless you all. And please give me a thumbs up, share, like, and subscribe if you haven't done so. Till next time. Bye-bye.